Hello, this is Nemesis of Pony 4 and 1. This is another video review. This is actually the Equestria Girls Minis Movie Theater playset with Juniper Montage. And as you can see, the entire box is not fit on the screen because it is, quite frankly, a large box. You can see this right here. Hand. Very large. There's a cardboard model of Pinky, so you can get an idea. Yeah, this is a very large box. You can see, of course, you've got Juniper Montage on here in multiple languages. And a little thing about, you know, some of the stuff the, the theater set can do, which we'll get into. Up here, of course, you got the Equestria Girls logo and ages and warnings and all that stuff. On the top is just more warnings and stars, cutouts, which are actual cutouts you can see. And, you know, a bunch of pictures of main six and whatnot. So you got more star cutouts on the side. This side, you got more about what's in this, this including uh, exclusive Juniper montage and the actual th theater set itself. On the back, you have a full-blown scene of all the stuff in the, in the set, although the Pinky and Sunset are not included, as it says, and the different, you know, the movie collection you can buy, and uh, Facebook, and Hasbro, and Viet Made in Vietnam, copyrights, popping action, and she's excited to see a movie with her friends. Mm, sure. Posable, yeah. All stuff, right? So, is that, and also the sizes and how much this important stuff. Right here, this is important. Um, how many cell phone digital tablet devices that fit within a playset frame dimension? 20, 247 millimeters by 200 millimeters by 20 millimeters. Device not included. And no, theater is not intended to provide protection to your device. Hasbro is not responsible for any damage to your device. Theater is not charge to charge device. Thick, thick device covers may need to be removed before play. And also at the bottom, just uh, more barcodes, copyrights, all that stuff are down here too. And so. That's this the gigantic box here, and hope in in a quick second you'll be seeing Juniper montage in the theater set right about now. Yes, there it is. There's the set as you can see. It's there's a lot here to get through, and of course, yes, including on top of all this stuff in the box, there's of course the usual product catalog. With all those figures in the movie collection and the stuff and well not including the SES movie theater set. So yes, lots of stuff in this box. As you can see, uh, we'll start off with some of the smaller things. It comes with three different tubs of popcorn, three two different colors, uh, yellow and I guess white, I guess for buttered and uh, non-buttered. Yep, you can see it comes in pink, yellow, you know, just kind of lumpy. Um, nothing inside, it's hollow. So, yep. It's painted pink, but the plastic's yellow. You got that. You, of course, have... There's three different pretzels. Two different round candies, two lollipops, two candy bars, two bags of some sort, two, I guess, pastries of some sort, maybe, and two ice cream cones, and four drinks. Plus these 3D glasses, the cash register, and three pieces of cat. Yes, three dollars as well that are removable. So yes, just gonna look real quick. Yep, there's a pretzel. It's supposed to obviously be a soft pretzel. Two different colors. This, I guess, this pale yellow and a very intense golden yellow. Got little uh, bits molded into it. Yes, we're gonna try to go through these real quick. Um, this round candy. It's got a little swirl in it, I guess, you know, kind of, guess, like those peppermints. There's blue and pink, or hot pink. Um, two lollipops, if I can get my fingers on them without completely wrecking everything. Yep. Lollipops. Blue one, pink one. It's those. And chocolate bars. Yes, chocolate bars, which are opened and have a bite out of them. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to sell those once those are like that. But what do I know? I'm not in the movie theater business. Also, Juniper was kind of evil. Who knows? Maybe she just bit them herself because, I don't know, she's a butt. Or she was a butt, I should say. Uh, there's easy things. They're, I guess, supposed to be some sort of bag. Probably chips or something. Not sure. They have little hearts on them. There's this... Darker brown, this like lightish gold chocolate brown and a white. 
There's these, I guess they're supposed to be pastries because of the swirls. That's what I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, there's this, this um, again, this brown chocolate brown one and a white one, off-white. And there's ice cream cones. Like, I've never seen a theater sell ice cream cones, but again, I don't know. I'm not into my movie theater, but anyway, yeah, ice cream cone. There's this light pink one and there's a hot pink one. So yeah, there's a lot of little candy accessories. On top of that, of course, there's these drinks. We'll get back to those a little bit again in a second. But yeah, there's these drink things. They're translucent plastic. Uh, there's purple, blue, red, and yellow. Believe it or not, the cash register. It's got molding for the buttons and everything. And yes, three different dollar bills. They got little hearts on them. They're curved slightly. They fit in the drawer. Those are actually, those are removable. They just kind of stick in pretty well. And there's also molding on the back. I guess it's a sunrise of some sort or maybe a sunset. Ha <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, they all look kind of this little counter right here. Yeah, right now they're just all spilled out because just out of necessity. And of course, there's yeah, more of those popcorn things and this popcorn popper, which, yeah, it's pink with yellow translucent plastic. Pretty neat, actually. And, you know, it's got this little feet. And it's cool is, yeah, you can see there's loose popcorn in it, but also in that, there's a button. Look at that. It actually pops popcorn. That's actually pretty neat. It's all self-contained, so no risk of losing those pieces. But yeah, it's actually a pretty cool little thing. And yeah, so there's these seats. Three seats. It's uh, two different pieces. Uh, got a little uh, cameras molded on the back, but on the front side... It's, you got stars on the seats, and yeah, there's the cups. They have cup holders. There's four of them for three seats, so the cups can actually fit in there. There's a little slot for the handle, so you fit right in. Actually looks pretty nice. And, of course, there's this big thing right here. This whole thing with this little booth with Juniper is currently occupying. We'll get to her in a little bit. But, yes, you notice there's this thing. This is just cardboard. But that's to show you, yeah, there you can put a tablet in here. Unfortunately, my tablet is just a hair too big. Uh, the box says 200, I believe, millimeters, I believe. 247 millimeters wide. The thing is, my tablet's just a shy, too bit, shy bit too big. It's about For me, that's about 10 inches or so. My tablet's 10 and a half inches wide, so it doesn't fit, unfortunately. I would have loved to show it to you. But yeah, you just slot a tablet in. I'm going to use this cardboard. But you slot a tablet in right here. And Juniper is going to fall off. I'm not careful, so hold on. Hey, right, get her out of there. Yeah, she can fit in that ticket booth. And on the back here, you see, you hear this little thing. And for support, just in case, because you don't want this to fall over, because it's just plastic. Put that out, that's a little support. And that will prevent the uh, whole thing from falling over when you put a tablet in there. But with, if you don't have a tablet in there, you don't really need that part, but that's part of the play pattern is you put a tablet in there and you have your toys watch the movie. That's pretty interesting. We're going to go ahead and lower this down for the Juniper bit. Yes, Juniper, of course, the exclusive figure for this set. As you can see, your glasses are sitting crooked. So yeah, she has glasses like she has in the show. Thing is, on mine... They were really loose when I first got it, but they come off. They were really loose. I had to use a a hair dryer to uh, warm them up so I can bend them in. And even then, they're still a little loose, but they're a lot better than they were before. So they don't hold on super well, unfortunately. She does come. This does come with three pair of three D glasses, like Pinky did from the movie collection. They can slip right on over her face if I can aim it properly. I think these are a little. Yeah, these aren't quite as wide as her normal glasses, so. They're a little harder to get on her face, but when you do get them there, they're solid. Although they want to pop off. See, they... Yeah, they just kind of want to pop off. So they don't go on super well, but if you can get them on there, well, good congratulate congratulations, I guess. I'm just going to put that over there. Yeah, there's a pile of stuff. This, Like I said, there's a lot of stuff with the set. 
There you go. Juniper. Yeah, so as you saw there, her hat does come off. That's part of her uniform, and this apron is just a clip, so that comes off. So then you have her normal outfit. You know, it's got the movie reel and stuff, just like the special, or the third special. So there you go, you got Juniper. Nice little outfit, polka dots on a black, pink polka dots on a black skirt, uh, blue shirt, purple coat, socks. You got white with purple shoes. Back, you got she's got her twin tail, her pigtails, and she's got her little uh, juniper cutie mark. See, juniper berry. Hooray. Yeah, so it's blue hair, and she got. She, it's not. I'm not picked out in paint, but she does have her little uh, movie reel hair clips. Yeah, she's got the same pose abilities as all the other minis. You know, ball jointed neck, pretty free moving because of the way her hair is molded. Those those twin tails don't move, by the way. But her hair is molded in such a way that she has a lot of range there. Um, shoulders on pin disc, so outward, forward, rotation as well. Uh, elbows can bend forward and back and of course rotate. All right, her also a stand like usual. It's a blue one. Matches her hair a bit pretty closely. Not quite, but pretty close. Hips once again. Outward, forward, back. Uh, limited by the skirt as the, every single one of them with skirt is. Knees can bend 90 degrees and they also rotate at the knee. So yeah, usual stuff, and she has a gripping hand. She can hold like, as the dock box likes to want to imply, she can hold like one of these lollipops. There's that, she can hold that. She doesn't come with her mirror, although the Switch and Mix Fashion Rarity, Rarity does have a mirror that looks close enough you can get away with it, although that doesn't have the best grip in it. So yeah, she can have the man in the ticket booth, so I'm gonna just give man the cash register, do whatever, you know, can't let her actually watch the movie. That's a shame. Shame on her, but yeah, I'm um, see, see about these seats because that's always the problem is you can't really get the Equestria Girls dolls to sit super well just because of the uh, skirts and whatnot. So we're going to try to sit Pinky here with her 3D glasses in the seat. And yeah, you can kind of balance them there. I mean, I mean, you're kind of super cheating, but as you can see, she's kind of not really sitting. She's kind of resting, but you can cheat. It's good enough. I guess it's uh, it works, but... It's not amazing, shall I say, but it works. It works okay enough. So that's the thing, this whole thing, the whole thing is kind of based on this gimmick, which I can't show off properly because my tablet doesn't fit. And that's the thing, if your tablet is more than 10 inches wide, it's not gonna fit. And that's unfortunate. Um, so if you have an older tablet, it probably won't fit. If you have one of the newer tablets or a 7-inch tablet or whatever, it'll, it'll probably be fine. So, yeah, this thing, I think this was about $30, oddly enough. It's not that expensive. Um, it's a big thing, but there's not actually a lot of model of plastic. So I think that's why the cost comes down. And there's a lot of accessories. You can see there's a whole pile of, like, um, movie theater snacks and whatnot here. My thing is this actually might have too many accessories. There's a lot of stuff to keep track of, a lot of little things to keep track of. I mean, you can see that's tiny. That's a lot of stuff that's easy to lose. So for a little kid, that's a problem. For someone like me who just wants this on the shelf, that's a problem because it's like, okay, what do I do with all this stuff? Oh yeah, clipping that on is uh, not too difficult either. It's hard plastic on enough stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing, though. It's just there's a lot of it, little accessories. I feel like there's just kind of too many. And ice cream is just kind of a weird one because I've never seen I've never seen cone ice cream in a theater. But then again, maybe it's just different theaters. I don't know. But the popcorn popper is kind of a neat touch. Uh, the popcorn itself, obviously, the cat, all this stuff. Just it's just I think there's too many accessories here. Just kind of it's just stuff, really. Um, again, for a little kid or something, it'd be easy for them to lose it. Um, for a collector like me, it's going to be more like, this is, this is just going to be frustrating. What do I put, do with this? And it's just going to go in the bag, in a bag or in a box somewhere because it's not really a big deal. Most, if it, most of us, I guess the collector type people are mostly going to be buying this maybe for display, like display purposes like this seats and stuff, but mostly because Juniper is a unique mold. 
or we're just that far in deep in the deep end and we can't admit it to ourselves anyway which way yeah so it's it's a nice theater thing and i'm guessing the functionality here is actually cool even though i can't personally use it the functionality with the whole let's slide a tablet in there is a cool idea um just you know have you know the kid can watch a movie on their tablet whilst watching it with their toys so that's kind of a cool idea um that's the kind of thing kids love to do. You know, the kids love to watch movies or whatever with their while holding their toy or watching it with their toy or favorite toys and whatnot. So it's actually a cool idea in and of its own and of itself. So there's that. So it's a nice set, and if you don't mind having so many accessories, yeah, thirty dollars is for what you get. It's actually really worth it, especially again if you're buying it for kids. For a collector, it's one of those. Are you willing to just kind of set up this all up as a big display or are you just going to put most of this stuff in a box somewhere or what? I mean, that's kind of what it comes down. Most of these accessories for me, I think I'm just going to put them in a bag. Um, I'm probably going to keep the bigger things out, but the little stuff definitely is going to, because otherwise it's just one good, you know, thump or whatever and it's going to fall out and it's going to be, oh, i got to clean it up. But that's the thing. So that's the worry is for a little kid, little stuff, easy to, to lose. Um, although it's not super important stuff, which is, I guess, nice. But for older collectors like me, it's going to be like, this is just a frustrating thing. I have to, another thing I have to put some, find somewhere for to put. So yeah, it's going to be one of those, is it worth it at 30? Again, by just sheer amount of stuff. Yes. By, is it worth the headache that might come with it? Maybe not. I don't know. But Juniper is a nice figure. I don't see any real, um, flaws in her paint maybe except for a little bit of messiness here on the shoes um the glasses there's clearly an indentation in here for the glasses although mine again didn't fit properly and still sometimes slide a bit although again it's not as bad as it used to be the 3d glasses don't fit on her very well very well i suspect they'll fit on other figures a little bit better in fact some other figures like for example um oops for example yeah sunset here because of her molding, ain't gonna happen. Such is life. So certain, it's gonna be for the three D glass is gonna depend on the molding. Um, Juniper can't really fit them. See, there it is. Um, Juniper they can't fit really well, but you can see right now Juniper's glasses just kind of slid down a bit. That's unfortunate. Because yeah, they're just a little too loose, and that's out of the box again. I used a hair dryer to heat it up and slow, gently um, massage the plastic into a different shape. Just be careful. That's sort of thing. you eat the plastic too much up too much, it can go bad. The yeah, it's it's a nice success. I mean, set. I mean, this whole thing right here. I didn't even mention the paints work. Like I like the gold stuff, like the gold ruffling and stuff for your the paint. Pick down paint in different multiple colors to help make it not just oh, it's just one giant monochrome thing. Uh, the Equestria Girls logo is kind of weird. Just kind of like, Equestria Girls up here. It's like oh, okay, and it's the same thing actually on the movie collection box. So little fake film reel on here with kind of it's kind of mushy but there is molding of the key marks like rarity dash sunset twilight all that stuff it's, it's mushy but it's molded in it's not very it's not a very crisp mold i should say but there is a lot of molded detail throughout so that is nice there is lots of molded detail so yeah it's a good set just it's just kind of come down to whether or not you're okay with dealing with a thousand little tiny easy to lose accessories if you're okay with that, great. Yeah, perfect. It's it's a good set. Go ahead and pick it up. You just think about it if those are kind of a big question. Either the kid's going to lose it or you're just, just going to be frustrated trying to deal with them. Any which way, I recommend it. Juniper is a nice figure, even if she wasn't a great villain. Um, so there's that. So, yeah, it's a, a decide for yourself based off what you see here. It's a lot of cool stuff in it. Just... Some of it just kind of feels a little excessive with the little tiny accessories. I would have preferred some of the tiny, maybe just maybe rather than a whole bunch of tiny, one or two just bigger ones instead. Even if it's just fake molding stuff, to just, you know, fake, even if they just resorted to fake um, at this desk uh, counter thing, if they just resorted to fake like food just molded in rather than have a whole bunch of little accessories, I would have personally preferred that. But other people are going to think differently. And there's also little stars molded into this counter. Weird and little things. But, yeah, that's uh, that's really it, really. Um, not much else I could say to... Uh, that's, if you saw, saw all this stuff that's with it, with it, almost every single one of the accessories, at least one ver two versions of, if not outright three, of all these little accessories down here. 
yeah, I mean, two of these, two of these, three pretzels, three of the chocolates, uh, two bags, two ice creams, two pastries, I guess, three popcorns, three dollars. $3 ain't enough to buy anything at the theater. So I'm guessing they're probably like $20 bills or something. But anyway, that's what you get. It's a whole lot of little accessories. So that's kind of where the my uh, reservations would come from regarding the set. Where just these little accessories just being annoying and possibly easy to lose. Everything else is great. So uh, that's that. This was the Juniper Montage um, movie theater play set. Uh, if you liked the review or you found it informative, I uh, you hope you like, comment, subscribe below. And that's it. So I will see you next time. <laughs>